how's it going, my little Jimmies? Today we're going to be talking about the Cultural Revolution, a political movement brought to you by our favorite dictator, Mao Zedong. So if you want to know a little nugget about Chinese culture is that it is a rich and colorful culture. And, uh, and you want to know what Mao Zedong had to say about that? That people should just leave their culture and be loyal to him. So, so then he started purging sites of religion and killing philosophers and everything related not to the Chinese Communist Party. So then they could be more loyal to him and the party. And you might be wondering why is he doing all of this? And that is the same question that I'm asking myself. Why in the hell would he do all of this? First, he's not really done. Second, it was some kind of diversion, if you could call it, away from the Great Leap Forward, which caused the Chinese famine. Yeah. So then, what did the Great Leader Mao decide to do? So he started to look at the youth, and I, and this reminds me of this show called How to Be a Tyrant, and it tells you, uh, and part of it is to, t is to brainwash the youth because they are the future, and so he made the Red Guard. So what these young people did is kickstart the cultural revolution and help with it, like for example, killing intellectuals, religious sites and everything related to old Chinese empire under the Qing, and a bunch of other things. So in total, the Cultural Revolution was a fail. If you were not- So if you were wondering what the Great Leap Forward was, it is it is when Mao took power and he wanted to modernize China really fast. And I am going to make this segment really short and uh, this is a simplification so don't take it with, so don't take it seriously. So the first thing that Mao Zedong did is that he noticed that China didn't have any iron. So then he told a bunch of farmers to make steel from, uh, for him in their backyard. Uh, in their backyard furnaces and when you tell a bunch of farmers to make steel from pots and pans it turns out that they make pretty shit steel so then all the steel that they made was pretty much useless so then after that he abolished private property and told the people that whatever they farm would be given to the state and what was left over they would get so Mao built these public kitchens as like, as I like to call, anybody that came in would get, would get to eat free rice. But guess what? After some bad weather and bad crops and, and not much rice being farmed, there was a famine and a bunch of people died. Because cause of that, the death toll is about 15 to 55 million. So making it the biggest famine in the world. And that family now was still ex uh, was still exporting rice to the USSR. So now that we have that, so now that we have that out of the way, let's get back. So this video is already long enough, and now and now that I am in a no China fly list, all I wanted to say was that during the Great Leap Forward, there was cannibalism because you know who didn't want to die. And so what did we get out of that? I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Oh, she's 